Gateway Mastering in Portland, Maine. An incredible facility where some of the best albums in the world are, are finished. Uh, by artists like Madonna, Rolling Stones, Rascal Flatts, Carrie Underwood. Um, they're doing a Star Wars DVD right now. Um, mastering is kind of where you put the Simon Eyes and the Shine on the songs and you put the spacing between the tracks and you make the whole thing sound as good as you can before it starts to get pressed. So this is the last stop on the train for the audio production side of this and we are really pleased uh, Cora Nelson is here with me. Adam Ayan is doing the mask. So I, I just want to tell you how excited I am. Really excited about the way this thing sounds. And I know you are going to be excited too. <laughs> some consistency from song to song and also to level match so that when you listen to it you don't feel like you want to turn the volume up or down from song to song there's that consistency as well. Simonizing of the songs. <laughs> I mean, I'm taking Korn's really great mixes and I'm just finessing them in another way over the stereo, uh, the entire stereo mix, and and uh, bringing that glue and that clarity that we talked about um, that that good mastering does for a good mix, and just kind of taking it that next step. A lot of people like to describe it, and this isn't. I think to people that are in music, they get it, but outside maybe not, because it's this is kind of a weird way to describe it but it sounds like a record now it sounds complete yeah. because this this process is a part of the overall creative process so. legendary and it's always great to be in his space but uh, Adam is also just beyond belief in terms of um, his ears and, and just having the opportunity to use the equipment here and, and have it all come together is, is incredible so uh, one of a kind <laughs> To a different mind space, um, an image. There's imagery in here. There's a lot of imagery. Some of the arrangement stuff and the chordal moments, harmonics are just ever present in this. Um, and I'm not just talking little ding on the on the guitar harmonics. I'm talking you know real cool note uh, variations that are that are working with each other. <laughs> Yeah. If you've recorded it well, the mixing is going to fall into place, yeah. and the mastering is going to fall into place, and and the overall depth and scope of the sound is going to be that much clearer, cleaner, clearer, yeah. cleaner, better, musical, all yeah. of those things. Yeah. And I mean, it it even starts all the way back to the arrangement and the songwriting itself. I mean, that's Absolutely. where it all starts. Absolutely. And then you capture it really well. Yeah and then everything else falls in line. It's well, it's a fun little journey is what it is, because uh, it really does take you. There are some dark places in here. There's some really contemplative um, pieces uh, that you kind of have to, you know, sit back and it, they do take you out in this other place. And there are other ones where you're sitting there tapping your feet, getting up and dancing. So um, it's a journey and I think people are going to love that. I think having that, you know, taking that ride uh, through this, the album uh, is great. Forget the single song stuff. This they all. This all has to come together as a whole. I'm just so grateful to take this music that I've kind of had the on the shelf for so many years, and watch it realize become realized, but also to do it with such brilliant people. Um, there's nothing like working with the best, and I think uh, in working with Will and Corin and now you up here, I feel like <clears throat> I've had the best talent 
around this music, um, and I'm just incredibly grateful to everybody who's helped, especially you guys.